All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here for some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, and it's finally happening. This battle is going to be nothing but pure peak. So if you haven't heard, yesterday we got the latest chapters of the Dragon Ball Super manga, and we're going to be getting the ultimate showdown. Gohan versus Goku. How crazy is that? I haven't been this excited for the DBS manga in ages. So... We're going to be doing this follow-up over here in Xenoverse 2 and have the computers fight it out. We do have the DBS superhero variation of Gohan who can transform into his Super Saiyan, Potential Unleashed, and Beast State. Massive thanks to Man Q for creating this mod. We have Goku who can utilize every single one of his Saiyan forms plus Ultra Instinct. Big thank you to Lazy Bones for creating this Goku. I'll be sure to have everybody linked down below in the description. I also went ahead and modified both of their health, key, and stamina attributes. As you can see, everything is completely even except for Blast, Strike, and Attack. I left those at default. And it seems to me that Gohan is a bit stronger in terms of the attack attributes. However, for Goku, he's a bit stronger in terms of the Strike and uh, Key Blast. So comment down below. Who do you want to win? Not in just in today's video, but as well as in the manga. Gohan or Goku. Without further ado, make sure to drop a like on the video and let's hop straight into it. I picked the wrong presets. First, we have to pick the empty character slots and then the character we want to fight in the computer settings, right? We have Beerus' planet over here just because, yes, the fight is taking place on this planet, so... It's very interesting. I really want to know how things are going to be playing out. It could be something similar to the superhero movie. Y'all remember when Goku and Vegeta sparred? Uh, they only stayed in their base form and then Vegeta was the victor. It could be something similar to that here, but I don't necessarily think so because Goku is interested in the beast energy that he sensed. So this is how things played out in the manga, if you guys aren't caught up with it. Spoilers alert, by the way, so if you don't want to get spoiled, then... Be sure to skip forward about uh, 30 seconds or so. Um, this is after the Cell Max boss fight, by the way. So, Gohan was, you know, over on planet Earth. And then the Red Ribbon characters, I believe two specifically, went over to his house. I don't necessarily know the context. Don't know what happened. But I do know that Gohan then transformed into his beast state. Probably because he was upset. And then... Over on Beerus' planet, Vegeta and Goku sensed Gohan's energy. So Goku being Goku, he was interested and then instant transmissioned back to Earth. And I believe at that time, Gohan already reverted to his base form. So he didn't necessarily see the beast transformation just yet. But he did sense the energy, right? Uh, and then stuff happened. And then later down the line... Oh, Gohan was just about to transform. Uh, they all instant transmissioned back to Beerus' planet. Goku, Gohan... Trunks, Goten, and the two Red Ribbon characters. So a total of like five extra characters on Beerus' planet. You know, plus the ones that were already on there. Vegeta, Broly, Chi-Li, Whis, Beerus, etc. Now, uh, the, with the recent chapters, uh, they talked some more. Goku was intrigued by the beast energy. So they're now going to spar. The title itself is called Son Goku versus Son Gohan, and then the chapter ends. So once again, this is kind of like the follow-up to uh, the recent chapters. And we have Goku transformed from his Super Saiyan 3 states into Blue Kaioken times 10. That's not the original Blue Kaioken because he's more tinted out in the red color scheme. Very awesome. Hey! Hey! Potential Unleashed Gohan just transformed into his beast state. It's up to Goku to transform into Ultra Instinct just to even out the battlegrounds. This is way too cool. Oh, and by the way, massive thanks to D's mods only for the Aura Pack. And this is why I was looking for a specific Goku mod who can transform into Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue, and Ultra Instinct. The three main transformations, right? Just to make things a bit more equal for Gohan because Gohan only has three forms. Super Saiyan, Potential Unleashed, and Beast. And I feel like those three kind of equal out uh, for both characters, at least in my personal opinion. Gohan is winning. To be fair, Goku is not fighting back. I think he's glitched at the moment. Special Beast! Yeah, alright. <laughs> alright. 
<laughs> Goku was afraid of the beast powers. That's what that was. Let's go ahead and retry. Just because Goku wasn't necessarily fighting at the end of the battle there. Again, these are computers going at it. So they do whatever they want. They skip transformations. Uh, they, you know, activate ultimates and supers at random times even after their guard is broken it's pretty strange um however i believe goku can only transform into ultra instinct when he has low health but as i just said computers do whatever they want so he can transform into ui right off the bat round two no so of course we do have battle two here but in terms of the anime Round one was just before the Terminal of Power. Uh, you know how Goku was training Gohan to achieve greater strength for the actual tournament? Uh, Gohan was taking things extremely seriously as well. He wanted Goku to transform into Super Saiyan Blue and Kyle Ken. Uh, Gohan was only in his potential unleashed state because he wanted to get stronger. So that leads me to believe that this upcoming fight in terms of Goku and Gohan might get extremely serious as well so we could see ultra instinct versus beast officially <laughs> we're not too sure again how things are going to be playing out gohan right now is taking the lead in terms of key and health however stamina wise goku is definitely winning they're both in their base form oh nope goku just transformed into blue i thought that was ultra instinct for a second but nope there's motionless kamehameha so gohan has about three new ultimates oh goku right back at gohan with the key blast attack right there i respect that oh once again with motionless <laughs> so that attack is from obviously it's from the anime super Saiyan 2 gohan used it against cell but in terms of video games i think dragon ball the breakers also has that attack so gohan finally transformed into super Saiyan. however he still has his glasses interesting goku ruined the animation because normally after you transform go uh, gohan removes his glasses right but goku canceled that out just like that a broke his guard <laughs> however we do need gohan to transform into potential unleash just to equal the fighting grounds oh vegeta's attack focus flash a different variation of that where he does not utilize the gigantic key blast variation at the very end or is that the very start oh now that was an actual dragon ball z clash right there did you see that hey, speaking of gbz clash we actually got one <laughs> transform gohan goku we need you to transform into ultra instinct as well after this we're going to go ahead and switch characters get goku's points of view Oh, Gohan just went straight into that. I really do like the burst dash aura. You see how crystal clear that is? <laughs> Not much is going on. So I feel like Gohan's Super Saiyan form kind of utilizes the key blast mechanic a bit too often. Oh, we have blue Kaioken times 10. Yeah. All right. So I think the one that we saw in the first battle was times 20. Just because this one has a different hue of blue and red. Oh, huh? Huh? Gone has angry shots? Oh! Alright, alright, so it's 1-1. One, one. Goku was fighting the entire fight this time around, so it was a bit more even. Uh, let's go ahead and go up to round 3. This is going to break the tie. Hopefully, Goku uses UI, just because he hasn't done so just yet. Can't beat me! If both warriors do not transform into their ultra states, then I'm going to go ahead and pick the original characters that we have in Xenoverse 2 from the DLC, Ultra Instinct and Beast Gohan. That way, they don't have to transform and do all that crazy stuff. But in the manga, they're both starting off in their base form. So I thought this battle here, or this type of style that we're doing, made a lot of sense using the different transforming character mods, right? Goku, is he going to win? Is Gohan going to win? Did you guys comment down below? Who do y'all want to win? Oh, he was about to transform. I think just because of the fighting stance he had right there. Oh, the grab. I think that's what he meant to use the first time. But yeah, that was the ultimate Masenko. Wait, I wasn't necessarily paying attention. Was that Kamehameha or Masenko? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Masenko. I mean, obviously, I know the difference. Again, I wasn't just looking at, you know, that side of... Uh, the screen or whatever motionless kamehameha once again that charge aura is cool i mentioned this already but we have you know the charge variant as well as the burst dash variants and the oh ultimate spirit bomb nice wait how did he break his guard because goku 
is supposed to have super armor. And as we all know, they updated the game. You can't break super armor spear bomb Goku's guard anymore, right? The only way to cancel that out is to grab the character, if I'm remembering correctly. But again, computers doing computer things. <laughs> They don't abide by the Xenoverse rules, which is fair, in my personal opinion. It just makes things a bit more interesting, if you ask me. I think Gohan might win this. He actually might win this. Transform, Goku, please! Ultra Instinct! Oh, Beast! We got Beast! The Beast within! Oh! Hey! <laughs> this... Oh! Ultra Instinct about time! About time! It's not Master Ultra Instinct, but we'll take it! It is what it is! Let's go! This is the ultimate showdown that we waited for! This is what we wanted to see! Oh, ho, ho. Use Special Beast Cannon, and I want Goku to use Ultra Kamehameha, if he even has that. I don't know his skill set, to be fair. Oh, that's doing max damage. Goku's winning in terms of health. Woo! Woo! So, since he is winning, he can just keep up with that playstyle. You know, just zone. Start using key blast attacks. I don't know why he flew up. Now he's flying away. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Please, if he transforms into mastered state, then that would just make this video ten times cooler, in my personal opinion. Uh, yo, I like how extremely even it is. <laughs> I mean, Gohan is winning, but... <laughs> hey, man, who knows? Who knows? Oh, he almost tied it up. Yep, yep, Goku's doing the plan. Oh, look at that. Beast Gohan has uh, the Celestial Wave Evasive, or whatever it's called. Oh, the Clash right there. They both have the same idea. Epic. <laughs> Goku just destroyed Beast Gohan. I guess this is it. This is it. Goku is the true victor. He is the strongest warrior in Universe 7, I guess, besides Whis and Beerus. But in terms of the Z cast characters, <laughs> very epic stuff. This is it for today's video. Comment down below if you guys are looking forward to the next chapter of the DBS manga. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!